Hey guys, it's Nikki here with Lifestyle DIYW. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And here's my latest flipping decor DIY. You guys know that I've made those bandana curtains or the placemats or the napkins from the Target Dollar Spot bandanas. Well, this is a DIY if you want to make a quick table runner from those same bandanas. And luckily, a couple of weeks ago, I picked up uh the stars um dollar bandanas from target and i've had them sitting there waiting i wasn't gonna decorate for fourth of july but at the last minute everybody decided to come over so i was like you know what let me just do some quick diys and get some decor on the table so i have two of the bandanas which is two dollars and all I'm doing is actually folding them over, making sure that they're the right size, and just splitting them in four halves. I'm splitting them in four halves because I'm going to make a long table runner. I have a long glass table, as you see me working on here, and so I needed to make sure that it drapes over the table sides and so what i do with the two bandanas i split them in four halves as you see me cutting down the seam right here and so it needs to be you need to make sure that both all the sides all four pieces are similar in size and similar in length just to make sure that the table runner doesn't look off when you put all four pieces together and it's just that simple i'm literally going to cut them down the middle i'm going to make four halves and i'm going to attach each piece to each other with hot glue i'm not using any needles threads nothing i'm using regular hot glue from the dollar tree to attach them now, I had to do this video in two pieces, and I'm just showing you the bandana, other the other ones that I got for um, Labor Day coming up, and I'll be making something special with those as well. But this is the Stars and ta Stars Table Runner, because I'm going with the Stars and Stripes theme for July at the last minute. Don't you hate when people come over last minute? But anyway... <laughs> um, I don't mind anybody coming over. I just really always want to have some type of theme on a table. And I kind of threw this together. Like, what could I make with these uh, bandanas? So all I'm doing is actually making a seam, a closed seam on the side of the bandana that I cut. Just so that way it's even in size for all four pieces, just in case they don't match up. And to make it look a little bit more neater. So literally you just fold down the cut half of your bandana and you glue in the folded part. So that way you have enough space at the top just in case you need to add more glue and you'll see that in a little while. But that's really all I'm doing. I'm doing it on all four pieces. So the whole entire table runner looks like it was store bought. And I'm gluing it down. I'm flattening it out as as much as possible. Only because you don't want to, you know, add too much glue because it is a material. And it does seep through at times as you see me like clicking with the glue. But as long as you add a little bit of glue, a nice thin strip, it should adhere. Now, I'm not sure if you use E6000. Like that would be too messy. Um, and I, I suggest using the Michaels, um, glue sticks. I didn't have to buy glue sticks because I always have them on hand. I like the Michaels glue sticks, but Hey, Dollar Tree is always an option. Um, but as you see here, I'm doing all four pieces and I had the video sped up only because it would look ridiculous. Just letting you see me go through real time gluing. Like, I think that's the worst thing ever, unless it's something that you really need to see. So now I'm going to show you how to attach each piece. And now there's a seam that's sewn that's manufactured into the bandana so that's where you're going to actually add your glue now you're going to add your your seam on the top directly on top of that glue so it can be as close as possible to the other bandana seam i hope that makes sense because um and i moved my camera around a few times in the video only because i really think you would need to see the parts that I'm gluing. So like how you see me gluing each end, I just put a little bit more glue just to glue each seam of the table runner. So it's nice and flat. You, you, it, it doesn't need to be bumpy. If it's bumpy, then you're going to have to like, 
you know, try to remove the glue and do it over. But I suggest putting the, the, the least amount of glue, just enough so it could stick and it can adhere. Now, um, you see me off camera here, but I'm literally just gluing each seam to each other. And I'm going to come back into the video so you can see the next step. And you see how long it is already? If you don't have a long table or if you're decorating for like, say, a banquet table, say I would have did this outside, I would have completed it with the four halves and I would have used it directly in the middle of the table so that way it doesn't hang off the table because I couldn't. But if you have like a smaller square table, you could use three of the bandanas. You you can use three halves instead of using four and then maybe do something else with the fourth one, like making like, you know, um, thin napkins. But that's really all I did. It's four halves, two bandanas for two dollars, and I made a table runner, guys. It it was that simple and it's very long, very cute. And it took me, what, three minutes to complete? Look how it looks right now. to the second DIY. These curtains look so cute in my dining So hey guys, it's Nikki here with Lifestyle DIY W and I am going to make a quick DIY. I have these bandana napkins from Target and you see I've been making napkins, I've been making a table runner, curtains and all sorts of things with these bandanas from target they're only a dollar and i definitely picked these up earlier in the year and so last month you saw the blue um buffalo plaid curtains and napkins that i made for my table well for the fourth of july i'm going to be making these curtains out of these bandanas i'm going to be making two panels um so it's going to ten, no four bandanas on each side plus a little border at the top for the curtain rod so let's get started Hey guys, you want to just be careful that you're making the curtain on the inside out, okay? So you're doing it where the curtain has thread and it has this border. So you're going to turn it around on that side. You're going to flatten it out as much as possible, all right? You're going to get it as flat as you can so that way you can kind of size all the other bandanas as well so we're just gonna and all we're gonna do is actually take it and connect it directly at the seam we did the table runner get it as close as possible as you can okay so i'm just gonna come in a little bit closer so you can see a little bit more see i've done that much already so again, the first thing you want to do is just make sure that the glue is on top of the double seam. And you want to put that bottom, I mean the top uh, bandana directly above that seam. And stretch it out. And flatten it as much as possible. Now remember I said make sure you keep the stripes in its entirety. Like you keep them together and this pattern is good because it's two double blue stripes where i'm gluing it at so you'll be able to see it but you can do it you know the best way that you see fit let's do it your way so it's really how you want it that's three panels already and it's pretty long on the top of this right let's put it this way on the top of this and i have one more bandana right so what i'm gonna do is 
gonna do it this way. We're gonna put a banner this way. So it's gonna be like this at the top. And everything else is gonna strike down, right? It's dope, right? Nice. So take it and we're gonna cut it. The cut side, the rough edge part, is actually turned into the inside of the curtain. You see the the sides right here they're folded and threaded so you want to make sure that that cut side is what is facing inside of me in this what you're going to do is you're going to connect these edges together first okay so i told you that this was going to have a double space for the bar like this would be scrunchy and this would be where the bar is at so you're going to just fold it and see where you want your scrunched part at. Like, I want my scrunched part like this. Like exactly where this top line is. Okay, so flatten it out as much as possible. Fold it out and it's this line that I want to fold down. Okay, so we're going to get the glue as tight as possible. Go here. Okay. Let's make sure. Yes. So we're doing this row right here. Come and glue down the second part. Be careful if you're not burning your hands. Definitely scorch them out a few times. And here's the finished look. I love the way the curtains came out. Both of these DIYs were so cute, right on the money. And I also wanted to show you my table for the food and the condiments. And I also added these apothecary jars that I made a couple of DIYs back. Thank you for tuning in to this 4th of July DIY curtain and table runner video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe under my video. And hit that bell for notifications to get all my videos when they get uploaded. Thank you for watching. Lifestyle DIYW.